Heights Community Schools is a small district serving approximately 3,700 students. The city of Invergrove Heights is located just 10 minutes south of St. Paul, Minnesota. Digital media has been at the forefront of many district objectives over the last few years. District 199 has used clever methods to obtain resources to equip students with technology tools and offer rigorous programming that is relevant and will help students become 21st century learners. Invergrove Heights Community Schools has more than 1,200 computers, 70 smart boards, and 950 mobile devices. Students have used iPods to increase reading fluency. They have created content and submitted peer reviews from iPads to smart boards interactively in class. Students in Invergrove Heights Community Schools have traveled across the country and even the world via video conference. District 199 has interweaved challenge-based learning strategies into core subjects and elective options. A course designed around challenge-based learning has been implemented at the middle school level. Students are encouraged to leverage technology to solve real-world problems. Middle school and high school students may enroll in Project Lead the Way, a course that follows pre-engineering curriculum. Students use technology to complete hands-on projects and solve problems. Each year, Invergrove Heights students utilize technology to enhance the understanding of material and design unique projects. At the high school level, students create an oral history video, interviewing locals about their experiences with an event that impacted the community, state, nation, or world. Sealing High School received the Star of Innovation Award for transforming its alternative learning program into an environment where students use technology on a regular basis. It is programs and projects like this that have turned Invergrove Heights Community Schools into a technological pioneer within the ranks of Minnesota school districts. In the spring of 2010, Invergrove Heights Community Schools began using one-time federal stimulus money to fund a variety of technology projects in the district. One such example was the creation of action research projects. Teachers submitted outlines clearly stating how they would use new technology in their classrooms and how they would measure whether or not the technology led to increased academic achievement. In the spring of 2010, the district started out with five action research projects. Three iPad projects were added during the 2010-2011 year. This year, four additional iPad Action Research projects were implemented, bringing the district's total number of projects to 12. School staff and PTSAs have led to fundraisers and events to generate funds for technology. As District 199 explores shifting to digital curriculum, one of the district's biggest challenges remains supplying the students with necessary technology while working with completing capital budgets. In spring 2011, ISD 199 held its first time ever technology conference. The courses were offered to the community and led by students across the district in grades K through 12. It was neat to see them in a new uh, environment. They, you know, you could just tell it was a little bit different than regular classroom. They knew how to do this stuff, but just having an audience, it was like it just raise the level of uh, intensity for them. They learn how powerful they can feel when it comes to this stuff because kids are they're, they're so instinctive about using all of this stuff. Going in and helping an adult that maybe isn't willing to take a chance on stuff. Um, it, was, it was pretty cool that, that they felt like they were in control the entire time. The primary advantage was that they became teachers of the technology rather than just users of it, which uh, again, it deepened their understanding of how everything works. A lot of the things that we that we talked about at the conference, a lot of them had to do with information sharing to give people the skills in order to, to participate in that dialogue that's going on around the world over the, over the internet is, uh, is a really powerful thing. The following is an example of one of the action research projects that has occurred in the district. We used iPads in the first grade classroom to increase sight words. Each student had read 100 sight words by the end of first grade to increase fluency, vocabulary, and comprehension. And we noticed a significant increase in all four areas of the data. And you're confident in what you're doing, and then you get something as great as this technology where it can be individual in front of each student, differentiated motivating and you just you know what either you have to jump on board because that's the way of the future you know we're getting them ready for the real world for a job that we don't even know is there yet so I mean getting them introduced
introduced at a younger age, and they say the younger the students are, the more successful they are if you have it introduced early on. The vision of Invergrove Heights Community Schools is to create learning environments that provide for high student achievement so all learners are academically and socially prepared for lifelong learning.